This is Lagos Talks 91.3. It is The Office, and The Office is proudly brought to you by the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria, CIPM, and Lagos Talks 91.3. Once again, my name is Kola Wale Falodu. Okay, so our guest this evening is uh, he's got quite a robust portfolio and profile. Um, he is uh, the he's at CIPM, you know, as per standard here on the show, and I love that for the show. Um, as a chairman and chief executive of uh, Daniel Peterson Consulting. I mean, this gentleman, this distinguished gentleman has been here before. And he is, uh, I mean, someone who is uh, ex- an expert in uh, a, a various various aspects of the HR business. Uh, like I said, is FCIPM chairman, CEO, Daniel Peterson Consulting. Um, subject matter expert, SME in corporate governance ERP, Strategic HRM, Organizational Design and Development, Business Continuity Planning, Change Management, Performance Management System, Quality Management System, Six Sigma, Balanced Scorecard, Management of Organization Inclusiveness and Diversity, COBRA, Team Building. In terms of his career highlights, he's got over, not one, not two, three decades of experience in HR management and learning and development. He's held leadership positions in various sectors, including HR management consultant, ICT, engineering, manufacturing, mechanizing, BMO, trade, insurance, and banking. Um, is uh, the immediate past CEO, Nigerian Institute of Estate Surveyors and Valuers, uh, two-term director, Chattered Institute of Personnel Management, a CIPM. Um, in terms of his landmark achievements, he's got uh, a CIPM Millennium Building Project. Uh, he coordinated construction of NIESIV's uh, corporate headquarters in uh, Abuja. Um, his current interests, you know, uh, he's currently a chairman, Daniel Peterson, consult, HR consultant, uh, chairman, youth entrepreneurship advocacy and rehabilitation network that is yen ngo uh, he is none other than mr olushola joseph fcipm good to have you sir how are you doing today uh, good to hear your voice once again even though i can't see your face today unfortunately i couldn't make it for the physical attendance <laughs> it's fine we can still connect on on the on a vocal level <laughs> all right Thank, Thank you, you so much indeed for stopping by again. We like it when you come. Just keep coming. This is uh, this is family, right? So we could we can have as many uh, opportunities to speak with you on the office. So good to have you once again. Thank you. All right. So today's topic quickly is on this very uh, common phenomenon as far as uh, workplace culture is concerned. Not too sure if to call it workplace culture anymore because it looks like a home place work stroke work culture. And that pulls us to our topic, which is remote working and work-life integration. And we're looking at this from the HR perspective, which takes us to our very first question. What is this whole scene about at the moment? Well, thank you very much for that question. Uh, As we know, um, it is working outside of the formal place of work outside the office environment the four corners of the office environment working from home that is what it is it could be from home it could be even you may be on the road and you're working anywhere Mm. that you find yourself you'll see yourself working on the job so it's no longer the norm of having to be Mm. in the workplace in the office so you can work anywhere provided you have all the uh, tools, the work tools uh, with you. So that's what remote work is all about. Mm. That's that is okay. All right. So uh, yes. how how does so how does remote work, you know, or remote working influence work life balance and integration for employees? How does it happen? Where is the the nexus or the or the you know the join? Well, um, you find out that uh, while working. In the normal work environment, like the office, you are you are restricted to working from the normal work hours, that is eight hours of the day, from mm. eight uh, up to five 
uh, with a with an hour in between for your lunch break but working remotely you you we have observed that mm. people now work more than the normal eight hours i was going to say that some too the, yeah some work even to the early we the wee morning of the hour of the of the day the following day people work even in the midnight till midnight a lot of people now work because they they have that comfort of working from their base from their home so they are not even looking at the restricted number of hours of eight hours so that now affects even the the, the attention to the family that attends even af, af, you know also affects the health oh. of the of the people we are talking about because they work extra they have no rest that is it the tendency is to believe that oh because they are working from home you are not giving the, the required number of hours no that is not the case so that now tends to affect the health affect the people the children are not given attention anymore so there's no work life balance so it, it it has to be managed to ensure that in spite of the fact that you are working uh, from home you still have to give attention to the required uh, you know the, the, the dependents and also even your health mm. now uh, i'm sure that you know that remote work now has taught us a, a lot of lesson that uh, people can even work a lot of people are working outside of the country they are working mm. i know a, a colleague of mine he used to be a, 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 a director of hr for one very big uh, insurance company she's now at you know she's now in uh, canada and she's allowed to work so she works i mean from the last uh, discussion we had she she works up to late in the night you know because of the kind of uh, different time is in, in, in uh, the zone you know uh, so she works extra she works outside of her normal work hours so you can see the kind of effect it will have on her because you know the, the minimum of about eight hours difference or five hours mm. are, depending on the state exactly in the US mm. or in Canada mm. you know so you can see while we are in the morning some of them will be <laughs> maybe in the, in the yeah. uh, late hour in the night so you see you see the effect that it will have on, on people mm. okay. and then of course with this Japa syndrome all over the place the challenge it is now posing even to uh, HR practitioners is to be able to retain their staff me- their members okay a lot of people are, are leaving the organizations now how do you replace them even when you want to replace the people you think you are going to retain, maybe after you have uh, 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 employed them, you will have no guarantee that they will stay for six months. Okay. All right. We need to go on a break right we now. A lot of challenge to, uh, to engage employees by human resource directors and uh, HR, uh, HR heads. Okay. Uh, uh, we need to go on a quick break right now. We'll come back and you've you spoken about the challenges and what could go wrong and all of that and the dynamics at the moment, you know, people working across uh, the ocean across the ocean people delivering their value uh regardless of national or geographical boundaries so we understand that that is the norm right now and we know that there are challenges as well we'll talk about some other common challenges and um how we can even move ahead in this whole work-life integration situation you're listening to 91.3 this is the office and laughs it's live drive attention airtel customers if your line has been blocked then this is for you head to the nearest airtel shop with your nin our friendly staff will help you get your line back up and running don't let a blocked line keep you out of touch airtel a reason to imagine. It's time for Africa's largest HR event of the year. The 56th International Conference and Exhibition. Brought to you by the Apex and only recognized body for the regulation of the human resources management in Nigeria. The Chartered Institute of Personnel Management of Nigeria. It's from October 10th to 17th, 2024. This year, this is for insights from top in experts, network with HR leaders, and explore cutting-edge strategies. It's 
not just a conference, it's a unique opportunity to enhance resilience in your organization. Don't miss out on Africa's premier HR event. The 56th International Conference and Exhibition, where resilience meets excellence. For more details, visit www.cipmnigeria.org or email conference at cipmnigeria.org. See you there. CIPM, we, we deliver, deliver value through, through people. Anything I Mama, Mama, <laughs> they don't dash me 20,000 naira. Who for? Hey, Piki, who they dash 20,000 naira for this kind of time? That they dash hey. everybody will get smart cash account 20,000 naira. Huh? You mean uh, <laughs> they go dash me 20,000 naira? I wolf too. Yes, so Mama, hey. that they dash all old and new smart cash users 20,000 naira. Oh, yeah, you tell your yard people, make them dial star 939 hash or download Smart Cash app to open their own account. Make them self enjoy 20k a woof. Every time where you buy airtime or pay bills with Smart Cash, you go chop inside your 20k. Terms and conditions they shall. Oh, I don't see my own a woof. Oh. <laughs> Smart Cash, powered by Airtel. Hello? Silly, how far now? Please, I need urgent 300,000 naira. I'm trying to grab this iPhone 15 before the 30% discount expires today. Ah, sorry, babe. I'm out of cash right now. What about taking a loan from your bank? Eh, I thought about it. Only problem is, I need the money now, not in the next 24 hours. Um, how about financial institutions who give instant loans? Yeah, right. Instant loans at outrageous prices. <laughs> I beg, I need something that is both quick and affordable. Quick and affordable? That's sparkle loans for sure. That's right. Why settle for one when you can enjoy the best of both worlds? Sparkle combines the speed of a fintech and the pricing of a bank to offer you quick loans at affordable prices. Get up to 5 million naira in minutes and at good interest rates. Sign up to Sparkle today and start using your account actively. The more you use your account, the more Sparkle gets to know you well enough to give you a loan. Best part, interest rates for women are 2% lower. Download the Sparkle app from App Store or Google Play Store now. Terms and conditions apply. Sparkle. Digitally simple. Attention, Airtel customers. If your line has been blocked, then this is for you. Head to the nearest Airtel shop with your NIN. Our friendly staff will help you get your line back up and running. Don't let a blocked line keep you out of touch. Airtel, a reason to imagine. 18 million people finally have a voice. This is Lagos Talks 91.3. Attention, Airtel customers. If your line has been blocked, then this is for you. Head to the nearest Airtel shop with your NIN. Our friendly staff will help you get your line back up and running. Don't let a blocked line keep you out of touch. Airtel, a reason to imagine. Don't wait. The all-new My DSTV app is here to give you a better experience and more control. It's your go-to place for easy self-service, special offers, live chat, voting on some of your favorite shows and more. Download it now. Update your contact details before 28th July and bring on amazing. Do it today. Do it now. Download the enhanced My DSTV app to unlock even more. For inquiries, live chat with us on the app or on DSTV Dot com. Anything I want Mama, Mama, <laughs> they don't dash me 20,000 naira. Who for? Uh, hey, Piki, who they dash 20,000 naira for this kind of time? That they hey. dash everybody will get smart cash account 20,000 naira. Huh? You mean uh, <laughs> they go dash me 20,000 naira? I wolf too. Yes, so Mama, hey. that they dash all old and new smart cash users 20,000 naira. Oh, yeah, tell your yard people, make them dial star 939 hash or download Smart Cash app to open their own account. Make them self enjoy 20k a woof. Every time where you buy airtime or pay bills with Smart Cash, you go chop inside your 20k. Terms and conditions they shall. Oh. Uh, I don't see my own a woof. Oh. <laughs> Smart Cash, powered by Airtel. Hello? Silly, how far now? Please, I need urgent 300,000 naira. I'm trying to grab this iPhone 15 before the 30% discount expires today. Ah, sorry, babe. I'm out of cash right now. What about taking a loan from your bank? Eh, I thought about it. Only problem is, I need the money now, not in the next 24 hours. Um, how about financial institutions who give instant loans? Yeah, right. Instant loans at outrageous prices. <laughs> I beg, I need something that is both quick and affordable. Quick and affordable? That's sparkle loans for sure. That's right. Why settle for one when you can enjoy the best of both worlds? Sparkle combines.
finds the speed of a fintech and the pricing of a bank to offer you quick loans at affordable prices. Get up to 5 million naira in minutes and at good interest rates. Sign up to Sparkle today and start using your account actively. The more you use your account, the more Sparkle gets to know you well enough to give you a loan. Best part? Interest rates for women are 2% lower. Download the Sparkle app from App Store or Google Play Store now. Terms and conditions apply. Sparkle. Digitally simple. The biggest conversation are on Lagos Talks. Okay, so we're back on that from that break. This is The Office here on 91.3 Lagos Talks. My name is Kola Wally. And here we still have uh, one of the brightest minds as far as the HR practice is concerned. I mean, 30 years plus under your belt isn't beans and plantain. Um, we have... <laughs> Uh, we have uh, a veteran in the game um, trying to impact some knowledge, Mr. Olushola Joseph, FCIPM. And on that break, actually, we were talking, uh, but we'll just bring you up to speed with what we uh, were just talking about. And it was about, uh, you know, a company's benefiting. Do they like it this way? You know, this whole remote work thing. Do they want it to continue? Because people are seemingly working more hours and being behind their screens for longer periods compared to what they'll be doing if they were going to the physical offices. So give us a recap on what we touched on during that break. All right. Uh, we're saying that, well, well the, now that you have, uh, you have, you can work at the, uh, at, at, as a remote worker, of course, in the comfort of your zoo, of your home, you have opportunity to now relax and do the work. And you still have more, uh, more in terms of outputs, in terms of productivity, because you tend to do more hours than the regular eight hours you have in the work environment, the office environment. That's what we're saying. And that, of course, employers are now benefiting from, from that a lot. And not only employers, even the, the employees, they also tend to have a lot of advantages because the moment that the employee finishes the task that is assigned to him mm. on that day, he or she now has opportunity to even get other jobs on, you know, virtually online. We have a number, a number of employees combining more than two, three uh, work now because they, they have access to the technology they use and they're able to also get more jobs. I know of someone who is working for two different companies now. You get the regular one and you go on, on another one. So it's, 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 it's really a mutual benefit, not just a, uh, Side, side of the employer. Mm. But that is still not to say that uh, there are people who are also tardy on the job. The fact that you cannot be monitored, you can't see, they can't see you yes. in the office. There's a problem there too. So you cannot see you are monitored mm. whether you are working. So I'm also hide under the guise of working remotely to sleep on and uh, to, to, to just do other things. But the, the, the beauty of this thing is that the result will show in the end, whether you can deliver or not. So people mm. can tidy on the job. People can, you know, play around and do all kinds of things. You know, there are times when you are holding meetings, you see somebody, uh, you know, virtually you are holding a meeting. It's not, it's not part of the meeting. That's, yeah. How do you know? It just logs somebody in and it's just there. In. Just ask a question. Oh, Mr. Joe, what's, what, what, did you, what do you have to say to this? You just see that. Mr. Joe is silent. I, I think that that's important. why some people normally insist on turning on camera so we can see you. On ca- uh, I, will, I will see people, you know, they say turn, turn in your camera, they are on the box shots. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay. You see some in the kitchen, they are cooking. So, it, 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 no, it's a two way thing, two way, two way mm, thing. Because true. the effect is that whether you are working, uh, really working or you are not working, the output will. We, we show that in the end. Mm. That's the beauty. Okay. All right. You're listening to 91.3. Lagos yes. Talks. This is the office. Um, so I know that, you know, mapping out uh, tasks like a, like a to-do list or like a daily KPI note or something could really help in achieving daily objectives. So um, if I'm someone like someone like me now, if you give, if I have a list of to-dos for the day, um, I like to quickly finish my work and have the rest of my work time to myself. Uh, exactly. So, so I'm enjoying myself for the remainder of the day, uh, and you have mm-hmm. gotten the, the you know what you expect from me from me, yes. and and that's a, yes. that's a win-win situation, correct? 
Uh, but but then, but then again, in a case where you know in this culture in Nigeria, we want you you it's about task, it's task oriented as as against uh, work hours oriented. Oh, you're working, you're putting in ten hours or five hours. In Nigeria, is how many work have you done? If you have not finished your work, you're still going to sit down there and ensure that you've finished the job. Unlike our counterparts yeah. abroad, once it is time to close, they just they don't. It doesn't matter if they finish the task or not. They ha- they can they can leave, you know. Uh, so, but in Nigeria, where there's a tendency to keep going and going endlessly at the expense of work life balance, how can employers support their employees in achieving better work life integration? Oh, okay, very beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, the employer can support by providing, like I uh, mentioned earlier, that there are some organizations who never invested in technology. And they got their fingers on because of that. So the employer has a lot of responsibility to ensure for that the tools are provided. Mm. Because once the tools are provided, the, the employee has no choice than to deliver. All right. But where the, the tools are not provided, then you give him the the, 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 the leeway of saying, "Oh, I didn't have the tools. That's why I'm not, I'm not mm. doing this." Okay. And that's why you find that even. While you are at the you know four corners of the walls in the office place, office space, what well, you find out that a lot of people they just move around, they talk, they gossip, they they te- they use telephones here and there, and the hours are, are just ticking away, and you cannot even put anything to it that they have been able to achieve for that day. But like you said, when the KPIs are there, people have tasks to deliver, key result areas are specified. The KPIs to use to doing the metrics to measure, they are there. Then you can see where you are, you, you 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 find yourself because as you stay, stay you know, as you lay your bed, so shall you lie on it. So the employers have responsibility in that regard to ensure that all the tools are provided, and then you don't need to uh, micromanage anybody or teleguide before the person delivers. Once he or she knows that it's going to be measured based on the tasks given to him. And then tools are, are provided, mm. then he must deliver. Mm. But when there are no measurements, no metrics, then what do you we are giving? We are already telling the and then you don't provide the tools. We are letting the guy to f- and, and reasons to give excuses as well. Exactly. Okay. All right. But where do you see this headed? Uh, this whole remote work culture. Do you think it's going to last longer than a few years? <laughs> it has come to stay. I have to mm. tell. It has come to stay. Okay. And, uh, why do I say that? The same thing you find in the, the financial industry, banking and financial industry. How many times, when last did you go to the bank to go and draw cash from their by banking hall? When last did you mm. uh, give a, a check or you want to draw a check? You know, e-commerce is there. You know, uh, internet banking is there. Transfers on the normal, uh, your normal uh, app are there. So, the same way you find this playing out in the banking industry, the same way you find it in the regular workplace. People are going to, a lot of things are going to continue to change. The world is becoming much more dynamic than ever before. And so we don't, we, 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 we just be giving ourselves, uh, we be living in a full, full paradise. If we say it's going to change. No, in fact, it's going to get, get, get uh, uh, worse and worse in terms of not working uh, physically, that's what I'm saying. People mm. will continue to work remotely with the with the uh, you know innovation of AI, mm. artificial intelligence all over the place now. Yeah, a lot of things are going to continue mm. to change with technology. Okay, so some so people, it's, yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna go back to the normal. All right, so uh, so some 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 employers are still having cold feet. You know, uh, maybe they're so old school about this whole idea of remote working, and they just see the negatives mm. as uh, again seeing the positives. What advice would you give such companies and such employers of labor? And what are your final thoughts as uh, we wrap up the conversation this evening? Well, my advice to those who still have cold feet <laughs> is just to just to, to, to go and smell the coffee. Mm. They must smell the coffee. They just need to wake up. Otherwise, they will be left behind. And we found all that playing out during the COVID-19 pandemic. I, I, I mentioned it earlier. So many organizations never expected that we're going to have remote work. So because the technology, there 
at this organization. Some never got out of it. Some of a, of a lot of businesses packed up. You understand? So uh, the advice I would give is to wake up and invest heavily on technology. Mm. Okay. They need to also give the uh, opportunity to their employees to also begin to learn how to work remotely. You know, there's a lot of ways by which they can, you know, do this. You have, of course, flex flex work. There's flex work, which means that you can choose the kind of work you want to do. Flex time, you mm. can decide on so 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 hours of the day that you want to work. Some people even prefer to work from twelve midnight down down to the early morning morning hours. That's optimizing. So, yeah, that's flexible. yeah. There's a lot of so employee employers have to be very flexible. 